Hi, we're back in Bill's basement and we're going to take a look at a Bird 43 through line watt meter. This particular one, Bill has uh, added a board to it that Bird produces to allow you to measure peak envelope power. Bill's going to take 20 seconds there and explain to us what peak envelope power is. When you're measuring RF power, for example, in the CW mode, you have a constant amount of RF power, therefore it's easy to measure. However, when you're speaking in sideband, the power only is proportional to the amplitude of the peaks of your audio. The meter can't keep up with that. So the circuit in there, called a peak envelope power meter, allows you to average the power so that you can see what the peaks then are actually producing. So with this particular enhancement, it's easier to measure how much power you're putting out on phone or sideband uh, with this, with the add-on that's in this meter. Without it, and Bill told me this off camera, you'd probably only be registering about 25% of your total power output. But with the PEP add-on into the meter, you, you get a lot closer to what's actually, uh, it'll measure a lot closer to reality. So, but we are going to be using CW because when I came over today, I forgot my microphone for my 891. And Bill doesn't own an 891, so he doesn't have a microphone, which is probably one of the few things Bill does not have. So, uh, the Bird 43 meter itself, these things are really nice. Uh, new, they're getting about, I think it's on the average about $300, uh, and that does not include any of the slugs. And what the slugs do, the slugs are specific to your frequency range and the power output that you're pumping into this meter from your rig. So for instance, the slug that's in here right now is an HF slug. It's designed to measure power when, it, when you're using between two and 30 megahertz, and it will measure power up to 25 watts. Now you notice this thing is kinda, it's pointing to the left, and that's the beauty of the bird meter. This thing can measure not only forward power, power coming from my radio out to the antenna. Our antenna, our antenna is being simulated here, by a really nice old bird um, dummy load here, 150 watts rated. And if you, so that's, that measures the power going out. Now let's say you've got an antenna that uh, doesn't quite have a good impedance match with your radio. Uh, the bird will, the bird meter, when you're, once you've turned that slug around, you're gonna be me measuring reflected power. And so what that means is, SWR is a product of reflected power and reflected power occurs when your antenna and your radio are not matched impedance-wise. The less reflected power you have, the less SWR you have. The more reflected power you have, the more SWR you have. My radio will measure SWR, it will not measure reflected power. The bird meter can measure reflected power and forward power. Right now, since we're pointing from our simulated antenna back to the radio, the bird meter is capturing reflected power. If we turn it back around, turn the slug around so that the big arrow is pointing towards our dummy load, uh, now we're capturing forward power. So let's go ahead and see what the forward power is on this radio. Now I've got the radio set to, let me double check here, uh, 25 watts. All right, let's see what the bird meter says. The radio says it's transmitting 25 watts. The bird meter says we're transmitting about 21. All right. Now that's not unexpected. The, uh, the tolerances on the bird equipment is about 3%. So it, it can be off as much as 3%, high or low. And you know, we've also got uh, a less than ideal. This is a very nice piece of coax, but it's not LMR 400. So there's probably some loss in here. Uh, we might have a little bit of voltage drop running from our power supply to the radio. There's probably half a dozen things that could explain uh, the fact that the radio thinks it's transmitting at 25 and our bird meter is trans is capturing about 21 watts of RF power headed to the dummy load. All right, Kevin, let's turn this to uh, reflected and let's demonstrate the reflected power that you would be having. I'm going to turn the arrow, Okay. key it up. Now the good news is on this dummy load, it's a 50 ohm dummy load, so we should not hardly see any reflected power here because our 50 ohm radio and our 50 ohm dummy load are a near perfect match. Well, let's test that theory. Uh, we're getting about one, one and a half watts of reflected power. All right. Again, this could be due to a half a dozen things, but it's, it's a very acceptable uh, return. 
and if we plugged a real antenna into it we'd probably see uh, significantly more reflected power but with the help of a tuner or a better designed antenna we can reduce those numbers. What is the point of all this besides just showing off how cool a bird meter is? If you can get your hands on one by all means do. Uh, the point is is that there's a couple different ways to build your antennas guys and gals. Uh, you can build to SWR or if you've got a device that measures reflected power you can measure to re you can build to reflected power and, and ignore your SWR because they do have a direct relationship and if you were to buy a bird meter new today it would come with a real fancy little chart that would tell you how to get from reflected power to SWR uh, just by you know finding finding the point at which those two numbers at which the numbers cross uh, or you can take a, a course in calculus and uh, learn this formula that's on this chart and learn to make those uh, calculations yourself. I'm not a fan of doing math so uh, if, I, if I had this chart and I may have to uh, print one and laminate it to keep around. I do have a bird meter at home but uh, it's a little scuffed whoop, it's a little scuffed up. Bill's is a lot cleaner than mine. I am rambling so we're going to end the video. Uh, comments and questions below and uh, we'll try and get answers to you. There's a ton of great videos on bird meters out there. Do not consider this one uh, the source for all information about bird meters. Thanks for watching.